Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray Song. Today we are playing Pokemon Shield. Um, we are in the Wildlands. That's where we left off last episode. Uh, full disclosure, my mic didn't record, so this is a voiceover. So if it's a little off or, you know, like it's kind of not making sense with where I am, that's why I apologize. Um, but yeah, so first thing you'll notice is that I do have a Dragonite in my party. It was a, um, mystery gift, so it's not staying in my party. I just only have five Pokemon, so it automatically puts it there. Uh, so once I get another Pokemon, that Pokemon will go in my party and not in my, um, uh, and the Dragonite will go into my box. Uh, now that our Pokemon are all healed, let's go talk to Hop. Look at that. Nice shot of the Wildlands. Uh, that's Murasoki. Way off that way. Murasoki. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, Hello. And if it isn't Sonia, my grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ah, uh, never mind. Never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd, I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. What cheek. Dynamax Pokemon really are on another level, you know? You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that admit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? We got our Pokemon links. gonna skip all that stuff with a pokemon box link you'll be able to put pokemon from your team into your boxes or take pokemon from your boxes and add them to your team nice right so go catching as wild pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your pokedex the wild area is waiting for you this is the start of your real adventure ba, ba, ba. So yeah, we're going to do a couple of dens um, as we're heading towards Motosoki. Motosoki. <sighs> Sorry if I keep pronouncing that. Don't come for me. It's it's early. So we're going to head off, do a couple of dens. Um, we're going to catch the first Pokemon and then all the other ones. We're just not going to catch them. We're just going to do the den for, for experience. Um... I know it was really hard to not get uh, a bunny here. You found a note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. And if you press the right stick, you'll see a view of a wider angle. And then you can press L to go back to normal. All these bunny Pokemon. It's really hard staying away from them. 
I think bunneries they're called. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of them. So we're going into our first den. This is the one that we're going to actually catch. I gotta remember to change my picture too. That definitely won't happen this episode. I don't think that even happens in the next couple of episodes. <laughs> Togepi. So, I'm apparently going to ignore the Dynamax because I forgot about it. Also, I apologize if you hear me drinking my coffee. Like I said, it's early. And it's pumpkin spice latte season. And so I'm probably gonna be having coffee every video because pumpkin spice lattes are fantastic. get hit a certain number of times in a den. Um, and by get hit, sorry, I mean you can only faint a certain number of times in a den. Uh, and then once you've hit that limit, you'll automatically get kicked out of the den. Just in case you didn't know how the dens work, that is how. Um, if you've never played uh, Order shield. I definitely recommend them. Um, this was the first actual Pokemon game that I played, aside from Let's Go Eevee. That was like the first first. Um, but that's such a different game. Uh, so this was the first, my first introduction into Pokemon games, and I loved it. Um, it's turns me into a fan, which of course my boyfriend loves because he has always loved Pokemon. So now when a new Pokemon game comes out, we buy them both and play them both and it's it's just really fun. Um, it's a good little like bonding experience kind of for us. So we win the Pokemon, we're gonna catch it. Sorry about the growling in the background, that is my kitten attacking my older cat and she will not defend herself for some reason and um, just keeps whining about it. And by attacking guys, I don't mean like ferociously attacking, he's just playing with her and she's old so she doesn't like to be played with. So caught the Pokemon, so we're going to keep that. He's going to go into our um, into our party. We got all our candies and our TM and our Dynamax candy um, that we can use for Pokemon later on, which is the main reason of doing a den. I believe we rename him Agar because of the egg shell kind of thing. So, Egger. We name him Egger. Put Dragonite in our boxes. All right, one den down. I believe we do those two that are on our way to Motostoki. I don't want to battle, so we're just going to ignore that. Giant horsey. It's 
So this one is a hoot hoot. Um, and at this point, I had very little appreciation for hoot hoot. Um, I do use him later, uh, and turns out hoot hoot is fantastic. But at this point, I'm like, oh, it's a hoot hoot, mm -hmm -hmm. you know. But we do a little better with this one. I remember to Dynamax, so that's good. And my Eevee and my Pikachu, uh, I believe, are Gigantamax forms. Um, so they get like bigger than a normal Dynamax and they look a little different than a normal Dynamax because they are Gigantamax. Um, and you can tell because Eevee's ear is sticking right through the clouds once they develop. Um. Oh no, the fire turtle! our max cuddle and now hoo hoo is in love with us which is pretty good because it means he doesn't bother with us really just gonna use max cuddle again Very hung on. Cleaver is such a great tank Pokemon. I love it. That was a nice chunk. Little man is back. So this is our last Dynamax move. There we go. So we've already caught some uh, a Pokemon in this section of the wild area, so no catching another one. But we got our candies, we got a berry this time, a couple berries I think. So we're gonna go do that last den and then we'll get into the rest. So I believe this den was a hoot hoot. Yeah, it's a hoot hoot as well. And I think we took this one pretty quick too. I think this one might have even been quicker than the first one. It just kind of oof, done. Or at least as I remember. Giant Eevee. And I'm just now remembering the what I thought was hilarity when I was originally recording this was that our Eevee's name is Cuddles, and her Dynamax move is Max Cuddle. So I thought that was kind of cute. Definitely uh, 
a coincidence. But uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. This hoot hoot doesn't last long for sure. I think that confusion turned out to be a bad thing. Yeah. I end up hitting myself, but I've only have these the once, I believe. is defeated. So again, we're not catching Hoot Hoot. We are just here for the berries and the, the candies. So now we're gonna head off to Modestoki. gonna grab these watts over here um, so the watts in this game uh, you get for uh, dens um, they are good you can buy things from them like with them uh, from some of the the trainers in the wild area uh, there are two brothers down by the nursery in the wild area which we'll get to uh, later on in the game uh, and those brothers will dig for you for a certain number of watts that can be really handy they can find some really good stuff especially if you're find trying to find um, like a stone or something to evolve a Pokemon or something along those lines they're really really handy for that um, so if you're playing this for the first time Make sure you check them out. They're in the nursery, next to the nursery wild area. And this is Modestoki with its really cool lifts. I love the lifts in this. And there's the stadium and the dancing ball guy. So we are going to not have control of our own. Hey, over here. Talk with her first. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your truck ran your Pokemon ragged though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I'll bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Oh, looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom Information Center. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Raysong? Here's a sample for you. And now we have Leon's league card. But Modestoki sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Cool. So we're going to go make our lead card first. Just got to 
find a, a background that we like. So we want the blue, and I think we went with the first effect there. Add our frame. So now we have to change our pose. So we have all these different poses to choose from. So I'm gonna go with that one. Change our expression. Gonna go with that one. The eyes closed version of that one just doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. And now we're gonna move us around a little so that it's only my upper body that's on the card. I think I zoom it in a little more too. Yeah, there we go. And we kept the clear coating because it was prettier. And there we go. There's our league card. Now we're just going to heal our Pokemon. We might get some potions. I don't remember if we do or not. By the way, you may be able to see a rare Pokemon at the Wedgehurst Station right now. We will do that later. Uh, I think in the next episode we go down to Wedgehurst Station. Um, so I'll go into detail about that when we go to Wedge Hurst Station. It's just gonna grab some potions. I like to always kind of make it all even. I'm just like that, so. I had seven, bought 13 to make it an even 20. Go talk to Sonia again. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area, do you remember what your goal in Modestoki is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Modestoki Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, later, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here. Don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? So she's off. We are going to do the same thing. We're going to go to buy some new clothes see what's out there and then we're gonna go change our hair because I don't like the traditional hair I don't think we can actually get a whole lot of different stuff though either right now I don't know that we I think we just get like jeans and that's it because they're a little more interesting than Than what we had. Can't get a smaller bag yet. We don't want another hat. Don't need sunglasses. 
and their gloves are not the kind that I like. So I think we're just going to go grab those jeans. get like the faded black ones or what we end up going with. Yeah. So we're gonna buy those. And then that's gonna be it for how we look right now. Um, so we're gonna run and do our hair and our makeup, which means we can change our hair color and our eye color. What do we want to do? I think we end up going with the braided pigtails because that's the romantic tuck is really cute, but I like the side swept waves too. But it's the braided pigtails we end up going with because they're they're just cute. lash grazing and we're gonna go with caramel blonde I believe is what we end up with because I couldn't quite decide what I wanted what we end up doing for our hair. Super cute little look. And now we're just gonna do our makeup. Can't see our eyebrows so we just end up choosing whatever. kept the darker eyebrows because of the the other ones were too light. We do end up I think sticking with the pale blue eyes. lipstick because that's like the closest to like normal lip color. There we go. Fresher than a mint. Update our Pokemon League card. And that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, so I post my videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays are Secret of Mana. Wednesdays are Sims. Fridays are Pokemon Shield, of course. If there's another game that you want to see me play when I'm done playing one of these games, then by all means leave the comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 